Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we'll show you how to make foggy, nasty looking headlights like brand new again. Stay with us guys, it's one of those methods that you don't need to use clear coat because if you do, you might melt your headlight and mess it up. So, check this thing out now. That's what we have here, after we are done with it. Okay, perfectly clear, crystal clear headlight. Check it out, you can see inside, it's amazing. And that's what we started with. This one was even better than the other one. Okay, you can see how foggy, how nasty looking that thing is. So stay with us guys and we'll show you the secret how to do that. So some of the things that we're going to need is tape, sandpaper, 600, 1200, 2000, polisher and we're using 3M perfected compound, uh, rubbing compound, okay, and machine polish. These things will last you probably for, not to say a big word, two, 300 headlights. So we can buy them in small quantities if you need to. Okay, and this headlight, you don't have to remove that piece right here, but if you want, you can. But what we usually do, we are gonna get some tape and we are going to tape around it, okay? All the chrome finish that we have, uh, fender, bumper around the headlight, we are going to do that. So that way we will not send it and even if you do a little bit you can always buff it. Okay. So that's what it looks like and it's ready for the action. So all we need is some water, it doesn't need to be hot, we keep it warm because uh, it's pretty cold outside, 600 sandpaper, dip it in the water and we are going to start sanding it now. Okay, you need to send the headlight only, don't get on the paint or anything like that. That's why we, we taped it. Okay, check this thing out. Check the nasty yellowy stuff that comes from the headlight. It just, it's gross, look at that thing. Okay, that's the layer that we are taking off now. So we'll be able to buff those to perfectly new condition. So this one will take, probably will take you guys about um, three to five minutes on headlight depending how bad it is some might take you a minute some might take you ten depending again we'll show you what to look for once you're done sanding so we're going to rinse it off now okay and let's see how it looks now okay right, guys so everything looks it's that dope color now that's perfectly fine uh, so we don't have any yellowish after we rinse it off. We're getting a 1200 sandpaper now and we'll go ahead and uh, do the same, the same thing with the 1200. This one will buff the scratches out of the 600 and it will make it really easy to polish. We need to go with 2000 as well. Stay with us and you'll see the difference. Okay, so uh, we're done with the 1200. We're going to rinse it off. It's very important guys to rinse it off. Before we start with the new one, 12 of the 2000 now sandpaper. And you can keep those sheets for the other side as well, for the other headlight. All we need is just one little piece of sandpaper that will be enough for both headlights. Even more, you can do four headlights easy with one little piece of sandpaper. And if you don't have a buffer, you can do it by hand. You can polish them by hand. It will take you longer, of course, but you can do it with no special tools. Okay, perfect. Check it out now. It looks way better, but we're not done with it. It's still, it's still dull, it's not crystal clear. So we're going to remove all the tape now. This is because we need to dry it and make sure that there is no water for the next step. Okay, so we will just get a towel and make sure we do not have any water. And it will be it will be foggy now check it out it will be foggy but we're almost there to make it like new and this one this one was yellowish okay like that and you can see there is not much difference now okay this one even turned white now but you see the secret to make them new again so 3m guys perfected series this is the part number if you need it but this is for one quarter bottle you don't need so much you can use those to buff your car really good too. Okay, so we're going to put a thin coat on the whole headlight. And we will either apply once or twice. We'll see how many coats it needs. Sometimes it's just one, sometimes it's two. 
again depending on how dry and how bad the headlight was now with the buffer it's important to move back and forth quick because if you spend too much time at one place what happens the headlight gets uh, hot because it's plastic and you might melt it so you need to go back and forth fast at about 1900 rpms if you have adjustable one if not it's perfectly fine Okay guys, we'll just do one coat of that. You can see how much better it looks, it looks now, but we're not done. More to go and stay with us to see what else you need to do to keep them shiny like that forever. Step two now, perfect uh, machine polish, perfect it uh, series compound, okay? So that machine polish takes even less than the rubbing compound. You don't need to use so much, but still you need to do a thin layer and use a quad or applicator so you don't touch it with your fingers. Okay guys, this is what you need next, M Sewer, okay? This is by Chemical guys, you can use different company of course, you need a sealant, okay? Paint UV sealant, uh, works amazing, it protects it from uh, UV, UV rays, uh, you know, salt, grime, all that stuff, so it's really good. And if you apply that every six months, just like that, by hand, nothing special, your headlights will still stay like new uh, all the time. And you won't even need to send them and buff them anymore okay and let, let's see what it looks like compared to what we had before now okay, you guys check it out now let's close the hood and see if it improved the okay it imp improved the look of the vehicle look at it inside you can see every little detail of the headlight looks looks amazing 100 percent guaranteed method it might take more sanding depending how bad it was. Okay, check this thing out. That's what we had and this one wasn't as bad as the other one. Okay, you cannot see inside at all. It's so foggy. And now, check this thing out. Perfectly crystal clear finish. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Let's grow that channel together and see you next time.